I think the reason why we went down the degree apprenticeship route is because as a business it's been very important to us to recruit graduates initially um, and train them up to become software developers. And I would always had in the back of my mind that if we could take kids straight out of school that were, uh, had done A-levels, were good at maths, had a passion for software development, um, that actually we could train them up uh, in the same way as we did for, for graduates. So when I found out about the degree apprenticeship program, it just seemed to make sense to me. Well, we're based in the northwest of England in, in Ellesmere Port, and uh, really there are only two avenues that I'm aware of that, that we, could, uh, we could go down, Manchester Metropolitan or Liverpool John Moores. I did also look at a, a local, local college in Ellesmere Port, but at that time they weren't actually offering a, a degree apprenticeship. So because we are based in Ellesmere Port, um, in, in Merseyside, Liverpool John Moores just seemed, seemed to be the most uh, natural fit. John Moores were just starting last year uh, to, to offer a degree apprenticeship in, uh, in IT. So um, what, we, what we did was take our programme which we had for graduates and we looked to just apply that to, um, to A-level A -level students. Um, now in my mind, conceptually, I see what they offer as being a, a traditional computer science degree in the, in the first year or two, which is going through the basics, uh, the, the theory around, uh, around computer science. But the bit that's important is, from, from an education point of view, I think, is combining that theory with the uh, practice of actually building software uh, for, for our clients. Um, and then applying that in years three and four into, into practical projects um, rather than taking something out of the ether, actually building real systems, applying the theory they've learned at, at, at college and, and the practice they've had with, uh, with us as a business to actually create uh, real software for uh, real businesses. The way that we look at uh, recruiting graduates or degree apprentices, it's the same pool as far as, as far as we're concerned. So there's a certain number of people that we will bring into our business that are new, they, they, they are juniors. And those, uh, basically that is a finite number of headcount that we can bring into, bring into our business. So, so actually it's split down the middle between um, graduates and, and degree apprentices that, that we would welcome into, into our business uh, e each year. And our approach is exactly the same. We don't really see them as being any different as being A-level A -level students, as, uh, as being a, a graduate from, uh, from a university in terms of the way we deal with them and, and what we expect from them as well. So our expectation is that within an 18-month window, they, are, they have become software developers who are pretty much fully chargeable, whether they come straight out of school or whether they've come, come out of university. So we don't actually see a huge difference between them, just the fact that they're a few years younger. I, I think if, if you're an organisation that actually takes on uh, young people who have got the, the raw talent to do what you do as a business, you, whether you take them as a, as a graduate or, 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 or straight, out of, straight out of school, you are building somebody uh, into a mindset that works for your business and has a, a level of uh, a level of loyalty. You do end up getting uh, guys and girls that are that are loyal to you as a business and actually are very good at what they're doing. I think I think we forget that just because somebody is 18, that doesn't mean that they can't they can't do stuff. Actually, if they get challenged uh, and supported, they can be highly productive within within the workplace within a surprisingly short amount of time. The amount of work they have to do is massive to, to get a degree and actually hold down a full-time job and have any form of social life. You know, that's not to be, not to be underestimated. And I, I think those sorts of people, if you get them into your business as, as a small business, um, can you know, stand you in good stead for, for the years to come.